Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're all here. And in today's video, I have a very large Walmart clothing haul to share with you. Everything is linked below and let's not waste any more time because I know you're here to see the clothes. So I will be right back with the first outfit. Okay friends, I am really excited to show you this haul. I think it's a really good one. All right, we are gonna go ahead and start with these Time and True faux leather leggings. And I have been wanting to try these because I actually do own a pair of the Spanx faux leather leggings and I was really curious to see how these would compare. And I'm actually thinking of doing a video showing the comparison between the Time and True and the Spanx. So, so if that is something that you might be interested in, let me know down in the comments below. Okay, so for the Time and True faux leather leggings, I did order these in a size large because I tend to find larges in the leggings more comfortable for me. Now, they do have a, like a seaming detail all the way down the leg. And I am 5'9", and these stretch, so these were perfectly long enough. I think if you were shorter, they're still not going to be bunched, so I think they do have a lot of good stretch to these. As far as the waistband on top, it does have that nice wide waistband here. And I do think the fit, I think they fit true to size. I think this large fits absolutely perfect. So overall, I have to say, I think these Time and True faux leather leggings are super cute and obviously you cannot beat the price. All right, now we're gonna go on to this really roomy, relaxed red sweater that I thought the color would be so pretty for the holidays. Now, it is a very boxy fit and you, I'm holding it out here so you can see like how wide this is. And it does come up, it's like rounded hem where it comes up at the sides and you can see just like how like boxy it is fitted in the back here. It does have this seaming detail all the way down the front of the sweater. And it is a drop shoulder with the seam over here for the shoulder. But I will say this one doesn't really bother me very much. And then from the seam at the shoulder, drop shoulder, to the end of the sweater, it is like this different ribbing over here. Should mention, it is not itchy at all. It is very soft. I really like the loose cowl neck. And like I said, I think this color red, it is a nice true red. I hope that is showing up on the footage here because it really is a nice true red. So it would be a great sweater for the holiday season. So I am really impressed with this sweater. This is definitely one to check out. Okay, I have the next sweater on and I've still got the faux leather leggings on with it. And this is a free assembly sweater that I wanted to get because I thought it would be long enough to wear with leggings and it obviously is. So it's just a pretty gray crew neck style. It has the little ribbing at the cuff and it is wide at the wrist here too. It is not tight. And I will say it feels very soft, very comfortable, not the least bit itchy. You can see if you are interested in this sweater with leggings, you can see it definitely covers your bottom. This is really nice, really impressed with the quality of this one. This is a good one as well. Okay, I'm back with the next pieces. And first of all, I have to tell you that this is not the cardigan that I ordered. I ordered, I will try to insert a picture of what I was ordering over here if I can find it. So first of all, you can see here the length on me being 5'9", it is like mid-thigh. And I'll get a little closer, you can see the pattern of this. So it's really this black and white like geometric print. Um, it's a nice soft feel, but there's one issue that I don't like about this sweater, as you can probably see like looking at me. It does have pockets, which is nice, but the weight of these pockets and where they are placed really, I think, makes your hips look a lot wider than they are. So that is one thing I don't like about this sweater. Even though it's not what I ordered and still, I, it's it could be okay if you don't mind the pockets, but for me, it's that pocket placement that's just adding a lot of bulk right there. All right, now I wanted to show you what I ordered to go under. I thought this the details of this were so pretty for layering under cardigans and blazers. And I'll get close here, you can see. It has a little 
lace like cap sleeve and then it has this really pretty lace detail around the neckline. I will say that this is like a very soft like t-shirt blend is what this feels like. Here is the length, how long it is. So I think this was a nice find and I love how comfortable and soft this feels. So I do think that this is a really pretty one. All right, another really cute sweater and some jeans to show you. And we are gonna start with the jeans. And I'm gonna step back here. So I ordered a pair of Time and True jeans and they do not make long or tall lengths in these. But I decided to give them a try to see if they would be workable with booties. But as you can see, there is a lot of skin <laughs> showing there. And it's just not practical. For one, I think there's just too much skin showing. I think it's supposed to be a little bit closer to the top of the boot. And then for practicality reasons, where I live, it's just too cold to have that much bare skin in the winter. So the jeans are definitely not gonna work for me. But if you are not tall, I have to say these time and true jeans fit actually really nice. Now I will say they call these mid-rise, but on me, these definitely fit like a high rise. These are up over my belly button. And they do have that five pocket styling. And the medium wash here that I picked out very nice, very comfortable. So I think these could be a nice pair of jeans if you are not needing the long length because they do feel very nice. All right, so now we are gonna go on to this adorable sweater. This is actually, I think, maybe one of my favorite sweaters in the haul, this free assembly one. You probably know color blocking is very in and this is really pretty with the, the green and the navy. And I don't know, is this, is this dolman sleeve? It might be. But it is really cute. It's got the, the green up here and then it is more fitted at the bottom with the navy. And then you can see it is all navy in the back. And then down the sleeves, the green start, stops here and then it goes to navy. But this is just a really cute, comfortable sweater. I like that it is just the mock neck and it's very loose. It's not too tight around your neck, which I really appreciate. Feels very soft, really comfortable. And I think the styling of this is just really adorable. Okay, I have another sweater to show you. And I have been drawn to this really pretty cranberry color, obviously this winter time. And I think this is a really pretty color. Now, this is another free assembly sweater, and this is like that shaker knit. So it's got that very soft feel. Get it close so you can see the weave here. It's got the ribbed cuff, crew neck, and I will say with this one, though, the fit on it is definitely more cropped. You can see this is pulled all the way out, and you definitely would need higher rise jeans to wear with this sweater. The sleeves are a little bit short for me, so I've just pulled them up, but it is a very comfortable, casual sweater. But just be warned that this one definitely is on the shorter side. Oh, have I found a cute free assembly dress to share with you. So I picked out this free assembly dress, wanted to try it, and I have to say, I think this is really adorable. Now you can see close up, it is a very dark navy with a lighter blue and green like splatter dot print. And what I love about it, it reminds me kind of, of maybe like kimono style with the way the sleeves are wide, the three quarter sleeves are wide here. And it has this really pretty banding right underneath the bust line, which for me is the best type of fit for dresses because I do have that athletic build, so I go straight up and down. I don't have much of a waist. So this actually is very flattering on me when it cuts in underneath my bust line. And it, so it has that really nice band here. Now I have tried to tie it the best I can in the back, but 
I could obviously do a little bit better if I spent a little bit more time, but it does tie in the back and it zips up the back as well. You can see the length for me being 5'9 is it comes over my knees, so it's a really pretty lady length look. And it does have the pockets that everyone loves. And another great thing about this dress is that it does have the little modesty snap built right in here. So it's great, you're not gonna show any cleavage, it's already taken care of for you. So I really like that. So I think this was a really great find. I think this one is adorable. All right, I wanted to see what Walmart had for party dresses. So I wanted to give this one a try. And this is green and sparkly for sure. Let me get close here, you can see. It is very, very sparkly. Now I will say I am struggling right now up at the neckline. It has the two little buttons with the elastic that go over and I cannot for the life of me get these done. So it's probably going to be draping open a little bit at the neck where it should be a little more fitted like this if I was able to get those buttons done. Okay, so it is elastic waist and I will say that this fabric is really, really stretchy. So obviously the length is a little bit too short for me. You can see me being 5'9". I mean, this is definitely mini length above, a couple inches above my knee, but it is not tight. It is very like loose and flowy, the, the fabric feels. I do like the long cuff. I think that's pretty with the pleating detail here. And it does have the slightly puffed shoulders too. And let me try to give you a look at these buttons if you can see. They are really pretty, the little buttons with the little elastic. Um, it's supposed to go over, but I, like I said, I am just struggling with those and cannot get them. So I think for some people, this might be a really cute dress. It is a little too short for me, and I honestly do not have any place to go with this really bright and vibrant dress. Really, really pretty color, and this may work out perfectly for someone else. Okay friends, that is going to wrap up this Walmart haul. And like I said earlier, everything is gonna be linked below for you if you saw something that you're interested in. But thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me today. I really appreciate it and I will see you all next time. Bye.